Hey everybody, this is Nick Dean Lyons here for part number 11 of my Curry from Forgotten Land playthrough. That's right guys, we are now officially more than 10 parts uh, done with this project, which is pretty crazy. We actually are pretty close, getting pretty close to the end of the game too, we only have two more levels of worlds left to go. However, uh, in this video, we won't, we won't actually be focusing on the next world yet. Uh, in this video, I'm actually going to go back and get some of the Waddle Dees that I missed in the, the previous All the Waddle Dees that I missed in World 1 and 2. Now, uh, I had no first-hand knowledge of this ride, but at least not right away. Uh, I think I did actually get all these Waddle Dees back when I first played the game last year, but I definitely did not remember where the heck any of the locations were. And it wasn't, I wasn't really going to remember that just by, uh, you know, second-hand guessing all the time. So, uh... What I did basically was I looked up online, uh, basically the locations for all this stuff, where to find everything and stuff, and now I think I'm going to go to record this video. So, yeah. Basically, what, if, if you notice, like, any pause in this video, it's basically going to be me looking over, like, what I have, like, just, like screenshots and stuff, in terms of, like, where to find stuff. Hopefully, I won't have to do that too much, but there might be some instances where, like, we're kind of having no choice but to do that. Especially because, like I said, I don't have everything in this game 100% memorized to the core. Uh, so, yeah. Basically, this video is going to be a bunch of backtracking. Gonna be going back to rules one and two, and getting all the rest of the waddle that I missed. Uh, basically for the purpose of 100 100% completion. So yeah, there's gonna be probably like three or four videos like this. I just go back and get all the missed. Let's we'll see how it goes. And of course, a better place to start than the very first level downtown grassland. And uh, there might be certain things, uh, uh, depending on how long certain things take, I might skip certain things if I take, if I take like too long to find something. Hopefully that won't be the case, though. But for this level, uh, downtown grassland, all I really have to do is just make the five tulips bloom, so... Just gotta find the five tulips and it'll be all, all good to go for this level. Now, it should be noted, though, that even though, uh... All you have to do is just complete a certain task in the level. If you go back in, you still do have to finish the stairs no matter what. So, even if, like, you do the task, it won't, it won't actually count if you, uh, if you die or, uh, if you, uh, don't finish the level still. So keep that in mind. You still gotta finish the level, from what I remember. With that being said, let's get it on! So, yeah. This is gonna be kind of like a little braver video. Play the next video. Or of course, I will start rule 5, but in this case, I kind of wanted to go back and just uh, get some of the wild ideas that I missed previously, so that's why I'm doing this today. And like I said, there's, there will still be a couple of video other videos like that, too. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and find the first tulip. Which actually is the very beginning of the level. Alright, now we got to find the second tulip. Which I think, if memory serves, is right over here. Yep, that's the second tool up. Now we just gotta find number three. And there is number three. Alright, just two more to go, and I think they're both towards the end of the level. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, I completely understand, guys, if you do want to skip this particular video. Like, just me going back trying to find what I missed before. So yeah, if you do want to skip this and go to part 12, I definitely completely understand, just for the record. All right, just one more hit to do. Oh yeah. All right. There's number four, I see. And I think number five is just around the corner. Yep, there it is. Got all of them. This stage is officially done. But of course, like I said, I still got to beat it, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, at least I haven't lost my progress. So that's a blessing, I guess. And there we go. Officially completely done with the first level. I'm sure I did already get that gotcha, but I mean, it was right there in my face, so, you know, why not get it again? All right, time to go on to the second level. Oh, well, D save, yay. And yeah, you'll notice the star changed from a yellow to red, which means I got everything in it. So that's how you know that a stage is 100% done, as if it changed, as if it has a red completion thing instead of yellow. So anyway, next we gotta go to it through the tunnel again. In this case, I missed uh, the second hidden waddle D, as well as uh, I didn't get all four of the hidden. Uh, I didn't light up all four of the switches, so. Let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. Oh, 
I do already see uh, one of the uh, switches, so I'll go ahead and go over there. Now let's go to the second one. There we go. I gotta find the, find the third lantern. Which is right here. And there's the last one. We're done. At least, at least for the lanterns. Alright, and I'm pretty sure uh, that second hit while these are not too far from a cedar, so let's go over there. There you go. I was wondering why the heck wasn't they going up there for a second. All right. All right, there we go. That's it. That's all the Waddle Dees. So now I just got to finish up the level. I might just cut all this out, actually, just because, uh, well, how... Oh! You guys have already seen me. Alright guys, I uh, just beat the level again, and now, uh, like I said, this level's completely done now, too. Second level of all world be saved. For some reason, I keep going for the mall level first, even though this level comes before that one. So anyway, all I have to do in this one is just find the third hidden Waddle D as a uh, find the side roads. So then do that. Shouldn't be too bad. Well, things are a little bit of the level, though, so I think I will do those things, so. Okay, that was finding the side road. Alright, I believe that's the third hidden Waddle D. Alright! That's it for this level now, too. Now I'll go and show the top again, why not? I think the level once again will be Heck yeah, that's how you do it. Alright. We have just two more, uh, well, one more regular level and then uh, and then the boss fight to go, and then we're done with 100%ing uh, all the Waddle Dees in World 1.
All right, a trip to Lavo Mall. This one's gonna be a little bit annoying, I think, but we'll try to make it work. Gotta find the last dinner waddle D, plus eat all four of the donuts, and also uh, navigate them all from getting lost, which is kind of a cumulative one. So for this one, I kind of do have to show off the entire stage because uh, otherwise uh, they shouldn't wouldn't actually make sense to the viewers. So let's go ahead and get started. But I don't mind going through this level again. I mean, it is a pretty fun one. Okay. This is where the first donut is. Yep, I see it. Alright, just gotta look for number two. Normally I would like, like to activate that invisible key. In this case, we kind of really do have to like, get through everything, so. Okay. We gotta go for the burger. All right. Yeah, basically in order to get the navigate uh, off of getting a lost machine, you basically have to basically follow all the signs in order. You can't like go in, in any opposite direction at all. All right. Wild Frosty again. I think we're getting pretty close to the second donut now. Yep, I see the little uh, thing. And there it is, that's donut number two.
We'll pull this down. I'm pretty sure it's the last one. All right, there's our last one in Waddle Dee. There's our third donut, two just need to get the last one. Okay, there's our last donut up top. And we got the Navigate Fucking Mall, the Mall Fucking Mall Achievement 2. Alright. Alright, a Labo Mall is done. It's the swap it was anyway. Alright. Last thing for mode one is of course the boss. And uh, there actually is a mystery uh, achievement right here, but uh, basically for all the bosses there's an achievement where you gotta beat them without getting hit once, so uh that applies to this boss fight and every other one. So if you wonder what that Mr. Chimney is, that's what that that's what it is. I, fi I figured it out. But uh either way, the other two things are we got a Sif for on those legs, you want the sword, which luckily I happen to be using the sword ability right now, so that definitely won't be much of an issue, but I do still gotta try to get uh beautiful getting hit, so that part might actually take a couple of tries, but we'll see. If it does take me more than like three tries to beat this boss without getting a hit, then uh, I'll just cut to my success all time doing that, I guess. Alright, so let's go ahead and go straight to Goromondo again. All right. Here we go. Oh. Okay, slap through his leg. Okay. And yeah, I already did get hit, so I'm not gonna get the hit with achievement just yet. But I can't still beat him with a sword. So let's do that.
There we go. So we got two of them, but I still got to be beautiful without getting hit once, so, uh... Yeah, let's give that a couple more tries. If I fail to do it, then, like, 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 I'll say the third attempt, then, like, I said, I'll just cut to my successful attempt, so, uh... Yeah, let's go for this again. Freezing him will work. Because I know freezing can be pretty powerful. Alright, I think by this point we know what happens. Alright. I don't know if that counted, but I'm pretty sure it did. Yeah, that first one didn't count, that one definitely didn't, so... Not gonna beat it, so... Retry! If all else fails, I guess I can try to use my, uh... My cheap ass fire ability. The thing is, there is undoubtedly potential with the ice, I just gotta take advantage of it. Alright.
Come on now. Halfway done. That's it. I'm gonna cut to my successful attempt. See you then, guys. See you then, guys. All right, there we go. So yeah, basically all I did was I just grabbed the uh, dragon fire ability from the uh, weapon shot, and I got him. Uh, I beat him up for the very first try. So yeah. Pretty interesting example of how cheap that hack is, but hey, it's gonna work for that fight. I have no choice but use for a couple of the others depending on how hard they get, but either way, uh, everything. Now, as well as the first world. So there we go. Sweet. So all the wallabies and natural planes are safe. Woohoo! But not gonna be celebrating just yet though, because uh, I'm still gonna be doing. Uh, still gotta do pretty much the rest of them. Although I will be only doing the second world in this video. The rest, of it, like I said, will be safe for a later video. But uh, now we're gonna be going to abandoned beach. And uh, for the uh, for the wallabies here, I just gotta uh, crack open the three knock knock nuts, and then I also gotta finish the sun on the rooftop. It was actually pretty easy to do, but that's not until the end of the level, that particular one. So let's go ahead and do it. Abandoned beach. So yeah, you can also skip and. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, I already see the second one. Okay, there we go. Just need to get the last one. I believe both that and uh, the sound that we cover at the end of the stage, so I think I'll skip to when I actually get to that point. Alright, there's the uh, thing right there. Make the sign. Just, just mouthful that. Voila! Alright. So, just gotta knock out, uh, knock out that last nut, and then we're good to go.
All right, there we go. So the first one of level two is completed. Woohoo! All right. Hi. Concrete Isle. This one's going to have a little bit of work doing it. So, I basically got to say the third hidden one will be uh, plus three, three sea birds, and then that. Uh, I think the other one is like make the waterfall fall on something. I forget the exact name of it, but I believe that's what it is, so. Let's go for it! Okay, there's one of them. There's number two. And ah, oh, shit, my frames are starting to drop. Okay, there's the last one. Now I gotta head over to the island. I think I made, made, made one of the Like I And I found the third in the wild beast, so. A two for one punch right there. Awesome. Alright, just gotta finish this up and we're good to go. But either way, that's it for that. A lot of these been saved. All right, next is a scale of the cement summit. This one don't have to really do that much. And then also, uh, uh, freeze forty in us, so. Gotta take advantage of the ice ability. So that takes takes care of the first one. Okay, I believe this is where Felina comes into play. There we go. Man, that was close. I actually almost did not do it, but it worked out.
I see you want to post a number two. Okay, just one more to go. I think this is where the last monitor poster is. I can even get to it. Alright, all done. Now just one more main level to go and one more boss, and then that's it for our world two. Alright, for this one I actually do have to do quite a bit. I gotta find the second hinder wild D, uh, eat three tins of fish, uh, win the battle of falling into the water, and then something else. I forget what that last one is, but I'm sure I'll find out when I actually uh, uh, get into the stage a little bit, so let's do it. Alright. Yeah, prepare for a lot of cuts in this level. There it is, okay. For a while, I'm like, where the fuck is that thing? All right, that's ten of fish number one. Now I just gotta find the second uh, second ten of fish. Where is this going to beat these guys? Yeah! Alright. Okay, I believe this is where the second hinder waddle, second hinder waddle D is. Here we go. Might as well do this so I can uh, wind blast. All the way at the end there. go.
All right. Okay, there's the other ten of fish. Just gotta get the last one, which I believe I might know where it is, and then we're done. All right, there we go, that's it. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be it for this video. I gotta destroy Tropic Woods' roots. I wonder if I use, uh, and, and then uh, two mystery ones. I think one of them is like, quarter if I use a copy. So once again, probably going to go for a couple plays in order to get this. Wait for him to pull out his root. There we go.
All right. One more. Oh, that's right. Clear if I could have hit that. Alright. Yeah, that one might take me a couple tries, but that's alright. So now I just gotta drop my ability and we'll be good to go for the next attempt. I just need to swallow those stars. Okay, almost there. Just can't die here, though, really. Okay. One more hit should do it. All right. Curling up for the copy ability. Now I just got to do it without getting hit. Yeah. Hi. All right, headless attempt, here we come. Thank you. 
at a halfway through. Yes, all right. Phew! Man, that was actually kind of a tough boss to knock a hit on, just because of the fact that, uh, well, I mean, there's just so much that can hit you, and there's so many attacks the guy throws, but luckily we were able, we were able to make it work. All right. And with that, we've officially 100% completed uh, two uh, two worlds, at least in terms of Waddle Dees. But we got it done. Alright guys, well that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, like I said, uh, you know, just wanted to make sure I got some backtracking done for the first two worlds. And the next bit I'm gonna go be, gonna be going back to regular videos for this game, so I'll be going on to World 5, which is of course gonna be the original Wasteland. We'll see how that goes, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys for that. And uh, I'll probably do my next match, maybe like in like four or five videos from now, we'll see what happens. Uh, it just really depends on how much progress I make on World 5 and, you know, how quickly I get to World 6, because, uh, World 6, I believe, actually is the last world of the game, so, uh, at that point, I'll kind of be trying to go back and get as much done as, as, as possible before I, you know, uh, play a wrap a bow on things. Plus, there's still the extra secret world I gotta show off, too, so, yeah, I've pretty much got the rest of this uh, project planned out now. It's really just a matter of, like, you know, what, what I decide to, to do or not do things. Well, anyway, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys all for part 12 next week. Until, until then, take care.